Hey guys, thanks for joining the show today. This is the Tamara Wade Show. I'm Sean Greenway with Brandlift Marketing. Today I'll be hosting the show. Tamara couldn't be with us. Got Miss Gina Bradley back with me again. And I think the last time we had did a show together, we talked about kind of recruiting, hiring, coaching side. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get you on this show because this is my fave to talk about here, marketing. Mine too. Because <laughs> I know that even though like a lot of the stuff that you do daily, mm -hmm. sometimes you probably don't know that it's marketing, but I watch, I kind of watch what you do okay. from, from afar. Oh. And probably 80% of what you're doing is marketing, which is good though, because it, it, it's natural to you, just mm -hmm. like to me. It's natural to me for those type of things. So mm -hmm. that's what we want to cover today. So thanks for joining us, guys. And don't forget to continue to follow Tamara on her podcast, uh, Anchor.fm. It will be on Stitcher, iTunes, YouTube, always on social. You may see this on social. So continue to follow Tamara. She's got a lot of good stuff coming, stuff we can't even talk about. So. Oh. <laughs> so uh, today, then, let's go over the marketing side. Um, what's the first step for you when it comes to marketing for Remax True, not only to get agents in, but just as a whole for mm -hmm. uh, attracting clients, the listing, resale? So marketing for listings and resales so yeah, start, as an agent? Yeah, start there first because I know you all coach, do a lot of the coaching. Oh, okay. you, like you were saying before in an episode, mm -hmm. Uh, and even Derek even went over it. You teach how to uh, fizzbos. Yes. How to do those <laughs> things. So yeah. What's the uh, um? Well, as an as an agent, mm -hmm. they need to be marketing. That's what they should be doing. Agents are marketers. We're marketing people's homes for sale. Yeah. We're marketing ourselves to attract buyers. Yeah. Um, yes. Social media is huge right now. As an agent, if you're not on social media, you're going to be left behind. Yeah. So we are instructing and teaching and skill setting our agents to be uh, top level ahead of the curve of uh, social media. So we ha offer classes on that as well mm -hmm. on video, phone apps, because yep. you can do so much. Your phone is like your oh my computer. God. It's got everything in there. This is free. Yeah. This is amazing free. that when I started a while ago, <laughs> In the 90s, we didn't have anything. We had books. We didn't have FMLS. We um, had to pull over and go to a payphone. That's you what had I've to been go teaching to payphone. My, yeah, because we guys. had the beeper that went off, and then we had to go, oh, we got a house too. We got yeah. a buyer. Ah, and we go run around. The, where's the payphone? <laughs> hey, I can meet you there at three. Is that good? Okay, yeah. bye. And then you check and see if your quarter went through, right? Yeah, no. I'm <laughs> but. The opportunity that people have, they don't realize everything's at your fingertips and yeah. it's free. You can go on your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Instagram has IGTV. You can make your own That's TV it. show. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's there for you to start anything you want. I mean, we're an entrepreneur, so yeah. we're, we're business owners and we're going to treat it as such and help you grow that's what we do here yeah and talking about apps too and we we talk about this a lot of the mm -hmm. a lot of times when i'm doing uh the consulting is that you got to be omnipresent i don't care what market you're in whether it's real estate or if you own a donut shop or you've got a, 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 um, a carpet mill if you're an attorney um nowadays you, you've got to be seen everywhere that's or right. you will get smushed down and i'm going to tell a quick story uh, Javier and I got my business partner. Uh, we're working with some clients and in their industry, I can't name the industry because somebody will know then who I'm talking about. Um, the guy had been doing this business that he's in for nearly 30 years and he's really good at it. I mean, he's, he may be the best mm -hmm. in that area. Um, someone that just started two to three years ago came into the same industry and because of that person's marketing, Oh my goodness. Blew him out of the water. Social media, billboards, you name it. She's doing it. Just everywhere. And here he is the best. I'm not saying that she's not good, but is is that yeah. is that important? And here's the thing, and I learned this from um and I don't know who originally said it, but I heard Grant say it, is that uh best doesn't always win. Best known does. First of all, you've already got probably the most iconic brand mm -hmm. in the business. I Red, so. white, and blue balloon. Yay. Right? 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the gorilla for sure. The yes. branding is huge. And just having that name pushes you up. Mm -hmm. And you as an agent can get out there on social media and get known. Yes. If you aren't known, get known. Yes. Because you're in charge of yourself. So don't yeah. be afraid of that video. Exactly. Can't be afraid. And I think yeah. we're on it right now. Give me the thumbs up if we are. Yep. We're live. <laughs> Remax True. Hey. What's up, Facebook world? Hey, it's Facebook. Sean here with Gina taping a uh, podcast. Hope you guys will follow us. Yes. Click like below. Make sure you're following the page. Do all of those things. Make sure to continue to follow Tamara Wade and her, her journey of her podcast show. I'm hosting it today. Gina, she's in charge of growth and development here. She's doing an amazing job over here. Um, if you're watching in right now live and you're an agent and you're in another agency uh, and you're not happy where you're at, I mean, you may be making the money, but sometimes a good culture change, culture shock can mm -hmm. help boost boost that so well, just having an invite you know just to see what we have to offer it's always a good as an entrepreneur you always want to know what's out there yeah and we would love to share our secrets with you and show you our uh facilities here yes. and actually we're in our podcast room yeah this is this is the studio so if you're watching live on uh, facebook we are here in the studio they got the couch for other type of podcasts but um it's a great setup and uh, one of the things about marketing, exactly what we're doing, this is marketing. Mm -hmm. Even though we're having a conversation, some yeah. people are watching us, whether it's one or 100,000, it doesn't matter. That's right. Because you can't get to 100,000 unless you start at one, right? Yeah. And that's what we're doing. So one of the big things with Tamara is that you remember this a few months ago. She said, I really want to get into podcasting. Mm -hmm. I really want to do that. And then you and I have actually done some of the split screen type mm -hmm. podcasts, which is great. Because I can be on the other side of the state. Yeah. You can, you know, you can podcast. It's like an with, interview. Yeah, you can yeah. interview somebody on the south side without leaving the office. Mm -hmm. But these are great for not only just conversation and podcasts. You guys can bring in, um, you know, appraisers, yeah, attorneys. Yeah, vendors, yeah. Uh, other type of coaches. Um, you can bring in, you know, your other agents to actually talk to. You can actually do coaching from it, too. Mm -hmm. I think as, as far as the podcast side, this is going to be great material for the coaching platform that uh, the Tamara is going to be pushing towards one day. So, Fantastic. you know, guys, don't be surprised if you see some of these things on the uh, part of her coaching platform. And, of course, Gina's going to be a part of that because you guys have already got the school. Yeah, we got the school. We're ready. We're so, so excited. On, on the marketing part of the school, mm -hmm. like the school itself, in my opinion, that's that's a mar great marketing tool for you guys. Mm -hmm. They're getting the, the classes, the, the classes they want that they're they're learning something they're having fun back to the branding side remax is icon i mean probably i can't really nothing else pops in my head red white blue balloon you so know what it is remax yeah. true so you like you said they've already got one of the biggest platforms out there now you're standing on that platform now it's up to them like with you now you have a personal brand gina bradley mm -hmm. that's standing on that platform and where you go with that is, is up to you. Mm -hmm. And you've done it as well as anybody I've ever seen. So what do you do to teach whether it's a new agent that comes on board today mm -hmm. or somebody that's been here a year? What yeah. do you encourage them to do for their personal brand even though they're here? Well, they definitely being on the Remax brand, personally, I would say go get your Facebook business page. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> that's number First, one. Yeah. <laughs> Not your personal, but open up a um, – business page mm -hmm. your business page is going to be and do a public profile so that you can have as many followers as you want they won't cut you off at 5,000 if you're on the profile yeah and uh in there you're going to put a nice banner at the top tell people what you do yeah and don't just load it up with I've got a house under contract I you're going to have to get on there live and do yeah. some lives and when you do a live you'll be able to get out there and get your information to the masses yeah. about how you are working. Let's say you did do a little sit down right here with mm -hmm. one of your appraisers or maybe a uh, inspector and then talk about it. Yeah. Talk about, you know, Hey, how's it going with your inspections lately? What are you seeing out there as we list houses? Is there something that they should do prior to you coming? Because when the inspection comes, you're in your due diligence. Right. You don't want to lose a sale. So these things will help you help your sellers and, Put it out to the masses because you want to bring value. Value is 
now the content that That's right. we're leaning towards. So I would say get your Facebook page, get your niche, get some content together That's for right. value added and uh, be a, um, a resource for listings and, and, and do that regular post out regularly. So whether oh, it's consistency, you know, yeah. we, yeah, we do a we do a lot more content than most people do because that's what we've seen it works. Not everybody can do that. So, yeah. at a minimum, I think any agent needs to probably five to seven times a week make sure they're got some representation on Facebook, especially and probably Instagram as well because mm -hmm. pictures of houses you you can come up with plenty of those, right? Yeah, it's not like you're gonna run out. Yeah, and if you run out, you know, Remax stuff, whatever. But uh, live, just like we did, uh, we may still be on. Live is a way to try to get some more likes and followers because the organic reach has went down so much. Like if, if you've got, let's say you've got a thousand likes on your business page, you're lucky if 2% of those people see a post. Mm -hmm. So you're, what is that, 20? So if you yeah. do a post, you, you're you lucky if 20 people see it. So crazy? in order to, to get that up, doing going live, especially for an agent, I mean, if you're not going live maybe once a week, um, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. I know uh, uh, some of these people might not know this guy, but a guy named Frank Kern, he's a really big beast in the uh, the marketing world, one of like a mentor I follow. He did a project last year where for 30 days he got his wife, which had her own product. She went live every day Yeah. for 30 days. Very good. And wa he watched the numbers of <coughs> the uh, not only the engagements, but the followers and everything. It will blow you away if you could see the numbers that he has of where it was because of the live. It wasn't just because yeah. it was her. Because Facebook will um, reward you for for going live. It'll push it out to even sometimes people that are that are not even out there. Isn't that crazy? That, that are not already liking your page. So yeah. encourage, keep encouraging them to go live. Yes, go live. Even on your Instagram, they have Instagram stories. You can yeah. go live on Instagram stories. That's right. People love stories mm -hmm. more than posts sometimes mm -hmm. um so i would definitely do those yes get on your instagram and post something um we have a i'll give a little secret out for instagram on, tell them tell them um get the app link tree it's l-i-n-k yes yes dot no l-i-n-k-t-r dot e e mm -hmm. On there, you can have a link tree on your Instagram, so you can post all your listings on there. It's a tree, basically, of so any some menu. URLs. Yeah. It's almost like having a sub, whatever, uh, bio website. Yes, in the right. Sense. Yeah. They go to, go to that, and you can have listings. A you free could probably downloadable have, guide. Yes, and I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Like you can go, and that's a good. Uh, we and we teach this sometimes too on your bio. Hey, you know, for free. Uh, free to-do list to sell your home, yeah. check out below. And then once they go to your link trade, you make sure you have one of those on there. Mm -hmm. Get that information too. And that's a big part of and marketing. And that's free too, that link, and tr link trade. That's it. There's like, it, it kills me. And I've heard guys on the internet talk about this. Uh, Gary V talks about this. People whine and complain when Facebook makes an algorithm change or Instagram. <laughs> it's, guys, free. it's free. <laughs> now, I will say this, and, yeah. and this is to be fact, Face, uh, Facebook, especially, and even Instagram, has become even more and more a pay-to-play. Yes, you can get the uh, the reach doing mm -hmm. posts and especially lives, but when you really want to go deep, you got to pay to play. Yeah, it, those it, ads it, really It, it is what it is. Like mm -hmm. Tamara's doing it as we speak. Probably from right now, from a year ago, I uh, can't give any numbers, but she's doing way more on it on ad spend than she was then because you have to. Yeah. You can't just, just because you got a, a big name doesn't mean you're still going to get the look attention. At, look at McDonald's. They're a big it. name. They don't stop yeah. advertising. Yeah. They pay for commercials and all that. And anybody who yeah. doesn't is crazy. Like you were talking about earlier, top of mind. You have to be top of mind. Remax as a whole, as yeah. a corporate entity, they do ads. They do commercials. They do that. A lot of these other brokers don't. So mm -hmm. just like McDonald's, just like Disneyland, just like everybody else who's big, we're corporately pushing us, us as individuals, on entrepreneurs yes. need to do the yeah. same. Yeah, and, and and everybody's different on this, but I, I think the, the rule for anybody should be 10%. So, you know, if an agent's making 100000 a year, in my opinion, if they're not spending at least ten grand a year on marketing especially lifting their brand up their, their name right. even though they work 
we like you work with Remax True, but you're Gina Bradley. You continue to grow your brand because you've already got the cool thing is that Remax True is already putting a good amount of yeah. money into it. Mm-hmm. You don't have to spend as much as somebody that's working for uh, uh, John Doe mm-hmm. Realty Brokerage. They're that's not right. putting the money out there, that's so that right. agent's got to spend even more. Yeah. So you even cut. So if somebody comes here is even cutting their cost down possibly on marketing. Yeah. If they concentrate on, like you said, business Facebook page, Instagram page, make sure you're posting, go live, uh, go interview people in the community. One of the things that we're going to be start doing is getting into the community and I'm going to do interviews at people's uh, coffee shop, yeah. restaurants, yes. giving back goodwill and let people know that, Hey, yeah, I bet you didn't know that this place here has got the best burgers in town. That's they right. know, and then they're like, well, dang. Community I didn't know, I didn't know Gina yeah. uh, did that stuff, and then top of mind. Mm-hmm. And so it all comes back to the same thing. I just did a video on that. <laughs> oh, really? Top yeah. of mind? It went, well, no, the community highlights. Yeah. Yeah, videos. It's yeah. Uh, community, 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 lifestyle. Show it. It's it's fun yeah. for one, right? Mm-hmm. And people learn. And, one of the, and the last thing before we could try to wrap up this show is that one of the things I've noticed, and you've seen this too, remember 20 years ago, Everybody was trying to get out of the small towns. Uh, oh, let's go to Atlanta. Let's go to Marietta, Alfred, yeah. or whatever. But I've noticed in the past 10 years, especially five, if you notice where there'd be Buford, Cordesville, downtown McDonough, Villarica, it's coming back. The it's local back communities are coming back. So if agents, and that's a quick tip for the day, mm-hmm. if agents were smart, they would, uh, they would, they would go invest in, you know, a camera, a microphone and figure it out. Yeah. Go, 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 uh, interview. They can do it really easy with the, yeah. they have those little microphones that you hook yes. up to your lapel and yeah. there's no noise. You get all that That's out it. of there. That's and how I started. You just say, Hey, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And even if they don't have that, yeah. get a tripod. Those tripod, we got yeah. one in the bag over little there. Tripod. If you got a tripod, set it up, hit record. That's right. And then just sit there and, and say, you know, Gina, tell me about your pork chops. Are they, are they good? <laughs> How's your coffee? <laughs> But just little things yeah. like that because we all want to be entertained. Yes. We like seeing, uh, we like learning. Like now that we're having these shows, they're going to learn more about you, your personality, your mm-hmm. demeanor, and they're going to realize that, hey, this is a cool gal. I want to I wanna, I'm a lot I wanna of fun. know her. No. <laughs> and then they feel like they know you a little bit more. But then what, if, right. what if you're down the street or in Alpharetta one day and you're getting a cup of coffee or some food and somebody's like, hey, I saw you on that um, – Remax True live feed on Facebook, mm-hmm. and then they start talking to you. Yeah. They might not have did that if you had never done that before. Yeah, they, you could so be a mini star. You cannot, you cannot <laughs> always measure ROI. So if you're listening, mm-hmm. ROI sometimes is invisible. There's not right? a lot of people that like, like, like. They just may view. That's so right. So you but they don't worry you if nobody's liking your stuff. That's right. Keep doing it. Be yeah. consistently hitting one day. Tell them that you're going live. Be consistent. Show up. That's all you have to do. That's it. Show so up. So go all in. As we say, 10X, right? And 10X. of course, had to represent it. my shirt, who's got my money. <laughs> so every morning when you get up, if you're not asking yourself, who's got my money, then you're already not in the right mindset. That's right. Because why else are you getting up to, you know, because everybody, we all got to eat. We got to, we got families. And the only way to take care of that is with money. Everybody likes to talk about money sometimes is a bad thing. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. It can be used for bad things. Yeah. Now but you need it to make this world go around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you guys have a machine over here, so you're going to teach them how to make yes. a little bit more money, right? We just need people to come in here, and we'll show them all the tips and tricks we have up our sleeve, and they'll be so excited they did. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Thanks for spending some more time Thank with me you. today. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. This is the Tamara Wade Show. Make sure you stay tuned for more episodes. As always, go kill it. <laughs>